a conference in Kuala Lumpur two months ago and listening from the presentation of the Japanese scientists uh, it seems that uh, they were giving more burden to developing countries on the, uh, on, the, uh, on, on the issue of climate change. Forgetting probably that uh, six countries, six countries in the world contributes 70 percent of the greenhouse gas, greenhouse gas emission. The United States with 300 million people uh, contributes 22 percent of the greenhouse gas emission, followed by China, 1.3 billion people with 16 percent, simply because their economic uh, situation is not yet at the same level of uh, the United States. Imagine, Your Honor, Mr. President, if the one, if 22 percent of greenhouse gas emission is now being uh, uh, caused by 300 million in the United States. Imagine if the economy of China raises to the level of uh, the United States. So meaning we will be expecting four times more greenhouse gas emission from China than the United States and the United States is now contributing 22 percent. Euro is, uh, the Euro, European countries are uh, contributing 13 percent of the greenhouse uh, gas emission. 13 percent. 16 percent for China. Japan contributes 7 percent. India a nation of 11, uh, one, more than 1 billion people is contributing about 11 percent and uh, Pakistan about 7 percent and the rest of the world 192 minus 6 or 186 uh, countries are contributing barely 37 percent Barely 30 percent, barely 30 percent, and the rest of Asia is contributing one percent, and therefore the country is contributing way below one percent, in so far as greenhouse greenhouse gas emission is concerned. You know now. Now, when I raise the question of why the developing countries are putting the burden to the developing countries such as us. On, 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 on the reduction of greenhouse gas emissions, which I think would lead us into uh, putting into second priority our need for food. You know, now, Mr. President, I filed a bill proposing for the postponement or deferment of the implementation of the biofuels until the time that we are able to attain uh, food self-sufficiency, especially self-sufficiency in rice. We are an agricultural country, but we are number one importer of rice in the whole world. And so therefore, if, for example, the OREC, Organization of Rice Exporting Countries in the World, will behave like the OPEC and determine the prices of rice as it's now happening, we will be the country that will be the hardest hit because we are the number one importer of rice. I have nothing against biofuel, but you might remember that the air over Texas would be the same air that will be hovering over the Philippines. And so the effect of climate change is global, Mr. President. Now, Your Honor, are we a signatory to the Kyoto Protocol? Yes, Mr. President. In fact, uh, this, change, this Senate has uh, ratified it. And uh, we have ratified it? it the Kyoto I, Protocol? I think it's been ratified um, not during the time that I've been here, if mm -hmm. I understand correctly. 
It yeah. must have been ratified because the Kyoto Protocol will expire already by 2012 in four okay. years' time. If this chamber has not ratified it, I think we would be remiss in our obligation. I what think it was during be, the time that I was not in this chamber. What would be the it basic purpose? It has been ratified. Purpose, I mean. It has been ratified. Yes. 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 Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, for that. Uh, what would be the basic purpose of the Kyoto Protocol? Oh, Mr. President, um, to summarize it in a minute would be an would be very difficult, but basically it's to comply, to seek compliance of signatory countries uh, to lowering the emissions of uh, greenhouse gases and for carbon uh, reduction, to put it very simply. Uh, but Mr. President, you are correct. The same air we breathe, um, the environment and the desecration of the environment knows no boundaries. Yeah. And you are correct in saying that the air we breathe here may be the same as the air we breathe in Mexico or Texas. However, I don't think that we must uh, renege on our responsibilities as environmental warriors uh, with the thought that we only contribute X percentage to global warming, Mr. President. Um, and in fact, uh, I think that if we shout loud and clear, and if we show that developing a third world country like the Philippines, that we would plant trees, that we would segregate waste, that we would uh, do all the things which um, other signatory countries of the Kyoto Protocol have been doing. It would strength, send a strong signal to the developing countries who are probably not in compliance with the Kyoto Protocol or to the U.S. who has not been a signatory to the protocol. Right. Uh, Your Honor, uh, climate change, again I repeat, the definition of climate change is change in the climate caused by man's activities. If you Such want... as uh, the use of fuel, uh, fossil fuel, 